What, in your experience as a sales leader and as an executive, is the way to build a winning culture and how do you reduce turnover in an organization? Yeah, that's a great question. So my philosophy is culture is the worst behavior that you allow. Mm. If whatever behavior you allow, that's, those, are your, those are your cultural items. So one, you really have to have the courage to hold people accountable to what you believe. So for me, it was, I respect people, not titles. I was, best idea has to win. How do we support people? How do we help them be successful? Mm. And everything is surrounded around those aspects. And those aspects have to follow from the top down. And facilitating people to have the, the ability to do those things and empowering people to make decisions. But my belief is that there are, most organizations are too hierarchical and they tend to focus on what the boss says. And specifically in sales organizations, everything is tied to an incentive program. Mm. Now most academic research does not support the current uh, sales compensation structures. Uh, I do something in class, in my sales, um, sales management class. I ask it, all the students, and I've done this for almost now four years, the fifth year coming up. I ask them, think about your dream job, mm. whatever that might be, whatever your dream job is. Mm -hmm. Then I say, raise your hand. Would you take 25% less money to do that dream job versus your current job? If you would, keep your hand up. If not, lower your hand. Without failure, I would say that 95% of people would take 10% less to 20% less salary to do their dream job mm. versus a job for more money. Now, Gallup supports this. Most of the employee engagement research supports the fact that people don't really stay at work for money, that other overarching principles. The challenge with sales is that most sales leaders depend on incentives to drive behaviors. So if you take a step back, if it was that simple, you would just pay more and you would get people to do what you want them to do. Right. But we're more complex. We're more complex human beings. And I think it all comes back to how you lead people, how you support them, uh, coaching, developing. But that takes an art. It's not as simple as saying, hey, Miguel, if you do this, you get five more dollars. Well, if it was that easy, we would all do it. Right. And you get the results you want. So to me, my research also counters the current sales compensation methodology. It doesn't support it along other, much other research, but there's a disconnect between what uh, industry does versus what science knows, and that connection hasn't been made because most individuals who are sales leaders were former sales agents, and they do what they know, and they think, well, if I offer you more incentive, it's gonna be better. Uh, research supports about 20% of the people are really motivated by money. The rest of us aren't. Mm. 